I'm going to demonstrate some of the ways that you can customize your podcast site on Podbean. And one of the real simple basic things that you want to start with is putting your own logo on your site and also the ability to put logos and pictures in your specific episodes. So I'm logged into my account um, right here on the dashboard and the first thing I'll do is go to settings to change up my logo. And you'll see right now it's just the default Podbean logo because I haven't uploaded my own. I will click on upload my logo, go to browse and find the file that I want to do. So I have my file here and my logo is right there. So I'll click open and take a few seconds for that to upload. And once it's complete, it'll redirect me back here. And you can see the logo that I uploaded is right there. And just make sure to scroll down and click on update options so that that saves. Don't forget to do that or it won't work. And we can now hit view site just to see if we actually were successful. And we were, there's the episode logo uh, right there. So that's how you get the um, channel logo on your site. If you want to change out the picture for a specific episode, you will actually go to the episode. So that's the publish button right here. And we'll go to this episode sample. So that was one we had created. And you just go to action and click on this edit button right here. And I did not have an image, so it typically will go to the Podbean, uh, or sorry, the channel logo that I put in. So the new one I just updated, or previously the Podbean logo, but I'm going to put my own image in, so I'm going to choose new image, click on browse, and I'm going to choose this logo right here, or this picture right here, click on open, and you can see that's showing right there as a preview, and then I'm going to go down and click on publish to get that to save over the old one. And then if we go to see the episode, hopefully everything's worked out correctly. So you can see this is my channel logo here, and this is the episode picture or logo that I put in there. Um, when, you're update, when you're updating these for the JPEGs, you, as you can see, they're a square logo. Uh, ideally, 1400 by 1400 pixels is the good size for iTunes, and the Podbean interface will uh, resize so that it keeps your uh, podcast loading uh, quickly, but um, make sure to use a square logo and about 1400 by 1400 pixels will be, able, be ideal for how it will show up in iTunes. And that's all it takes to customize your site.